you just see a complete DB, uh, high IQ, playmaking ability, pursue, problem solving, a whole lot, a whole lot going on. Communication, a whole lot going on in that game. Um, trying to get a win, so uh, I probably said that's probably one of my best games for the season this year. Is there a safety either you know present or maybe past in the NFL that you kind of kind of grew up watching or watch recently that you model your game after? Um, I mean. <laughs> I was at corner first, so I used to watch a lot of Jalen Ramsey. Um, I've been watching Jalen Ramsey since he was at Florida State. Uh, him, uh, Trayvon Diggs, I like Diggs, especially that year he had all those picks. Like that, that highlight tape is is unreal. I watch it a lot. Uh, you know, I, I take from him his his zone eyes and just the way he anticipates things. When he sees the ball, he goes and gets it. So uh, him. And I'll probably say at the safety position, uh, I'm going to go with, uh, oh, I've also been liking McDuffie lately. I've been watching a little bit of McDuffie, uh, Trent McDuffie. And, uh, but at the safety position, Mika, Mika, um, I like Mika since he was at Alabama. That's when I first heard about him, saw him. I would just see that 29 always everywhere over the field. And I was like, who is that? And then as I got to know him, man, I just like his game, man. He's got a high motor. High IQ, playmaking, everything, all that. So I'd probably say him and uh, Petrie. I like Petrie too. Um, have you had any meetings with the Steelers this year? Uh, no, I didn't. I did have the senior bowl, but not not yet this year. Good luck, man. Thank you. Conversation about strapping up to God. You gotta go up there and get it from God. <laughs> <laughs> you got to. Good man, I'm chilling. Got some allergies going on right now. I the same thing. I came off the plane and I was like, what the heck? Man, my nose is crazy right now. Like, yeah, because I came from Florida, so. I get from Cali, so I feel you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's tough out here. Yeah, I be, I should be straight. It's just nose a little burning a little bit. I keep sneezing and stuff, but that's about it. Yeah. But the trainers here, they got me some, they got me some medicine, so I should be good. Yes, sir. How you been? I'm good, dude. How long is the flight from Cali to here? Four hours. Yeah, not too bad. Not bad. Yeah. Yeah, that was a cute one. Yeah. I tried to mobile, like flying from one in the street. Yeah. <laughs> mobile, man. Mobile, Alabama. What? Mobile. <laughs> it's just, mobile is just funny, man. I was there with DJ, and uh, that's where he's from, so he showed me his neck of woods, all his, where he's from. Yeah, it's just funny, man. Yeah, that's where he's from, so he showed me his neck of woods, all his, where he's from. Just a whole lot of crazy mess. That's all I'm gonna say. We went, we went to where where he's from, like Pritchett. Um, I, don't, I don't even remember all the places, but you know, Mobile is not a place I want to live. No, dude, I'm kind of around the same way, man. I, I would go over the border and go stay in Florida. That's why I'm here. Yeah, it's crazy out there though. It was fun though. The, the Super Bowl was fun. Yeah, it's fun. It's a good time. I mean, yeah. you ever been to Mexico? Like right across the way? Nah, I haven't. The only time I've been there was when I landed there. When they drove, so that's the only time I've been there. I, I, I thought about going because uh, that's what Nehemiah and Marcus was training at. Uh, I thought about it, but. I mean, it's like you go one time, like I have some buddies that had the uh, Navy base down there that I go work out with. Right. Yeah, I go one, you go one time, you know, into it. Yeah, definitely stay around the Fort Lauderdale, Miami, or more like the uh, St. Pete, Clearwater. Yeah. Yeah, those are the yeah, I was training in uh, Fort Myers, Florida, Myers. so. How's it out there? I've never been. Uh, it's cool. It's, it's, it's real chill. Um, not too much going on. Uh, it's nice. Seems like I see a lot of nice cars, luxury cars. It's right next to Naples. Naples is real nice. So, uh, what's nice car you can around there? Uh, I saw a, a crazy Aston Martin. Aston Martin. Yeah, and I'm not familiar with Aston Martins either, but 
I saw a crate. I was like, because I didn't even know what it was. I'm like, what kind of car is that? Like, it was like black in it. The seats was green. The steering wheel was like lime green. It was crazy. Was it like a Google Yeah, it was, it was two doors. That's crazy. It was crazy. I was like, man. I had never really seen that as tomorrow. So. Yeah, I'm out in a hundred feet and I see like Corvettes every day, but then you see like those Lambos that are coming down. Yeah. Nothing, anything like a Rolls Royce or Magic Yeah, it was. I was seeing a Lambo every other day. They kind, of, they kind of got old looking at. But I asked Jamar, and I, I vividly remember that car like crazy. And then now, what you got after this? After you done? Uh, I think we got some orthopedic exams. I think, and uh, I think we should be good after that. I just got you like we have more meetings out today. Test tomorrow, then? Yeah, we test tomorrow and uh, get measurements and all that good stuff. Tomorrow. I can't. I cannot wait. Man, I got my shirt. You ready? My shirt that I'm running in tomorrow. I got my pants and my shoes that I'm running in laid on the floor like it's, <laughs> like, it's like first day of school right? tomorrow. Man, what I look at? I cannot what wait. What was it like seeing that like whole like layout with the locker room? Dude, I can. I I can. I still can't believe it. Man. Like it's crazy, man. I just never thought. Never thought. Hey Jim, I want to ask you about Lab McConkey. You, you went up. Did you go up against him? Cookie. What do you call him? That's my boy. I call him Cookie. How do you know? Cause he be cooking. Lab, Lab, Lab McCookie. Did you know him in high school or something? No, I didn't know. I just I met him. I mean, we met obviously on the field, but uh, we actually got to speak to each other at the Senior Bowl, and I and. I told him I call him Cookie because he just been cooking. Yeah, he might not look like an NFL player when you see him walking down the street. <laughs> he is a uh, uh, man. Lad is a technician, man. You can just tell he, he takes a lot of pride in, in his work, man, and his show, man. He's 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 a great guy too, man. I love talking to him, Lad. Were you teammates with him at the Senior Bowl or on the other side? Uh, we were teammates, yeah, we were teammates. So, uh, practice, I know, it had some viral clips, I don't know who the DBs were, but, you know, uh, did he show you something on the practice field, too? Uh, <laughs> we went against each other, I think, one time in the red zone. Um, I pretty much had the route under control up until the last second, and, uh, he caught the ball, but he knows what's so. up. Thank you. He ain't, just, he ain't just break me down. I got you, I got you. <laughs> Uh, Jalen, so I was, I was chatting with, uh, with, with uh, your mom over the weekend. Yeah. She was talking about kind of you, like, working on your, on your uh, wage with the NFL scouts that we're talking about. What has that process been to kind of get to where the scouts have, 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 have wanted you to be in if you've waited in? What are you at? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'm like 180 right now. Um, that's what they really, they just, a lot of them didn't want me to be in the 170s, like, I just need to go out the window. So, uh, you know, I kind of got it fixed. Uh, it's a pain in the behind, man. It's hard gaining weight because I have a, I have a fast metabolism. So, it's it's really hard to just eat a bunch of meals. Um, it's been a struggle over the, over this training. So, um, but uh, you know, I get it done. Once I get get around the right the right people and whatnot, I'd be straight. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Can you keep this?